Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Coach Rock here from Revenge Basketball, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to drive to the basket, at least give you some tips on how you can beat your man, how you can get to the basket, and how you can be a more effective player in the lane. This is important because the more effective you are at driving, the better it's gonna open up, the more it's gonna open up the rest of your game. You will have much more opportunities to shoot open threes because defenders will be afraid to guard you close because they'll know that you can beat them, that you can finish at the rim. I recently did a video on the step back and I talked about how to actually set that move up. You have to be able to drive to the basket. And on this channel, we've talked about different finishes. We've talked about floaters. We've talked about pull-up jump shots. But one thing we haven't really specifically drilled down on is actually how to drive to the basket effectively. The first thing I would say is driving to the basket and shooting the ball go hand in hand. The better of a shooter you are, the more defenders are going to have to run at you, which is going to give you more opportunities to drive. The better you are at driving, the more opportunities it's going to give you to shoot. So if you can do both, defenders are kind of in a pick your poison situation where they have to either run at you to stop you from shooting or they have to slowly run at you because they know that if you don't shoot, you can just pump fake or you could just attack and drive. So that's why driving is important and that's why shooting the ball is important. So the first aspect of driving is being able to shoot the basketball. You have to have, you have to be a decent shooter because you want defenders to run at you. When a defender's running, when a defender's running all his momentum at you, it's much easier to beat him because he's going full speed this way, you're going full speed that way. There's no way he can shift unless he's a very, very good defender. There's no way he can shift and still stop you. So that's the first tip um, is be able to shoot the ball because the better you can shoot, the more it's gonna open up your game for driving. Now, now let's talk about when you're actually driving. One thing I like to do with my players is I like to put cones on the elbows and I like to basically tell them, I'll put two players against each other, so one on offense, one on defense, and then I'll tell them that's out of bounds for the offensive player. So the defensive player has to try to push the offensive player out here because this is out of bounds. If you're driving to the basket, you want to attack straight, which means you stay inside this elbow. If you watch Steph Curry, if you watch Kyrie Irvin, Russell Westbrook, some of the best drivers in the game, they do a great job of owning the paint and they dictate what the defense does. They don't come out here and then drive like this. That's not an effective way to get to the basket. An effective way to get to the basket is absorbing that contact, not being afraid of contact, and getting to your spot inside the elbow. Basically, you wanna get into the paint. If your feet touch the paint, it's a disaster for the defense because if you get into the paint, the whole game opens up for you. Because if nobody helps, you have a layup, easy layup, or a easy floater. If they do help, you can kick to a teammate, open for three if this guy helps. If a big man helps, you can dish to a teammate. So I remember when I was growing up, my coach used to tell me like, Rock, just get your feet in the paint and the defense, it'll destroy the defense. And that's what we wanna do here when we're attacking, at least from the top. Even from the wings, even if I'm attacking right here, I still, if I'm going right, I still wanna be able to get inside here. I wanna get my feet in the paint somehow. Because it, again, it makes the whole defense collapse. It makes them have to react to you and it opens the entire game for yourself. So as you can see, if you can hit the shot, now defense gotta run at you. When they run at you, you beat them, you get to the paint. And this is where you use everything we've been talking about on this channel. You hit a pull up shot, or a floater, which we just did a video on that you guys loved, or you get to the rim and you finish. And on this channel, we've done videos where we've gone over many different finishes you can do. So really, those are the main keys to, to driving. Another thing you wanna do is you wanna have an effective move that helps you get to the lane. One of my favorite moves is a simple hesitation and go, or a, Kind of a scissors hesitation because those get you full head of steam but there are many moves you can do you can do in and out you can cross to get to the lane many different things you can do i like keeping it simple always having the ball protected in my hand and using different scissors moves crab dribbles and just trying to work my way 
into that spot. Of course, if the defense is there, you do what we talked about recently. If I beat my man and he gets there, you do what we talked about before, where you step back and you hit the shot. Or you at least step back, create space for yourself, and get it, get into the offense. So a lot of different things you can do. But we know driving to the basket is key if you want to be a, an effective player, especially a point guard or any type of player, really, in today's game, because all positions handle the ball. If you can get in that lane, if you can drive effectively, it really helps you become more dominant on the court. And it opens up your game. So mix those two things, work on your shot. Don't only work on driving, but work on finishes, floaters, pull-ups. If you can master all those things, you become much more difficult to guard. All right, so again, we're here. Good hezzy. If you get into the lane, you can Euro, floaters. Let's say, for instance, we beat our man. We get there and defense collapses. We stop, we pop with a pull-up. Again, so many options when you get into that lane. Let's say, for example, I drive, defense collapses. I can hit a no-look pass to my teammate down here. He can hit a shot. Can, if I drive and the wing helps, kick to the teammate on the wing, hit a three. All right, so it's very simple. Get to the lane, make something happen. Of course, you also want to be able to catch and shoot to keep the defense honest because you want him to run at you if he runs at you. You get to the lane. If you don't run, you hit the shot, make them pay. If you like today's video, please do me a big favor. Hit the thumbs up for me. Comment below. Let me know what else you need help with. Last but not least, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Turn on notifications so you never miss another video. Until next time, I'll see you then.